Hey guys, Angerans here. But let's get let's get straight to Watchmen. Watchmen, I will split out to three segments. Non-spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Oh, no, no, wait, uh, non-spoilers, of course. Story, and uh, uh, worst spoilers, and overall satisfaction. Now, let's get straight to the review, and let's start with how I feel about the film. Oh, yeah, the verdict is actually uh, the ultimate cut. Outside region. We'll soon shake your windows and rattle your walls For the times they are a changing Watchmen, when I first uh, heard about it uh, around 2-3 years ago I thought it was a very interesting cut set I was very very interested but I was too young at the time I knew I had to grow a little bit too, uh, older to understand the themes And I'm glad I did Earlier this year I watched Watchmen and I don't have a physical copy of it, but I did have my first impression of it. For those who don't know, Watchmen is based off a graphic novel set, uh, set in 1985 with the comedian dying, which is exactly how the film starts. Not really a spoiler because it's revealed straight from the trailer. And a fun little fact here is um, the one who played the comedian, he was about to quit after three pages. But Zack Snyder told him, keep reading. And he said, and he's glad he did. He's glad that he actually did that. And after that moment, it goes straight to what we see in the film. The characters. That is the shining beacon of the film. As when the story gets darker and darker and darker, the event goes a little light because it was slowed down. But it will pick it up again because of, because it's dark tone. And I really enjoyed the characters, especially Warshak. Warshak is easily the best character in the movie. There's something that you don't understand. You're not walking here with me. You. You walk here with me. He easily has the, one of the best lines in, in the whole entire movie. Like. Warshak's journal, October twelfth, nineteen eighty-five. Uh. Like that line that he talks about the comedian right at the beginning of the film. And he's ultimately the character that's willing to go all the way to finding uh, out who did it. And that will come in the spoilers review. Uh, Dr. Mahanan, I thought he was fine. The comedian, I thought he was, he did, uh, the guy who played him, did an excellent job. Same the one who did so, uh, play Sock Spectre, the one we saw in the film, and Night Owl. They all played their parts very well, in my point of view, that is. And that's very, very good. A good sign that you see all your actors going well. The, uh, the direction that Zack Snyder taken in this film, fantastic. He didn't need to uh, shove everything in from the book. He knew he has to cut around uh, a couple of story bits that would have been fine if it were, this film was split to two parts. One part being the mystery, and then the part two will be part of the mystery that will be solved. That would have been better. But, you know... Part one, part two didn't really exist at the time. The story, the way the story is written, is fantastic. I thought it was f fabulous, but there are uh, issues in this film, and that is, it would, it can really slow down where you can be bored. I was absolutely bored when it actually slowed down too fast. When it slows down, it really slows down. You will be feeling bored, even especially when you watch the ultimate cut. It's really boring. But I, did, I but I kept watching it because I want to see how the story ends, and I'm glad how the story flows. And I will come to the this bit will go to the ultimate cut. But I didn't mind the change of the ending. There you go. The ending, the way the ending actually does. Is different from what the graphic novel is to the book, and that's uh, fine in my book. Now let's get to the spoiler segment. 
and where I can go for one. Out of my way. People have to be told. You know I can't let you do that. Suddenly you discover humanity. Convenient. Alright. Now I can actually talk about spoilers and changes that are main in the film. There are especially major changes like the how uh, the characters are played and how the ending was uh, handled. I thought the ending was a lot better than the graphic novel because I don't like it. the alien thing is kind of just too stupid. Zack Snyder recognizes that to make it real real by changing uh, of of how the ending goes. Instead of uh, the alien thing, it was it's Doctor Manhattan. Doctor Manhattan makes more sense than the freaking alien. Jeez, I'm too passionate. But anyway, folks, I will continue. Another thing is a couple of plot points. I thought like there could have been a little, cut a little bit more, especially when I watched the ultimate cut. I would have liked to uh, watch the regular cut, which I won't watch anytime soon until I feel like watching it on Netflix. And yes, it's on Netflix. And uh, the film is really, really uh, wants you to think when you uh, after you're watching the film because the way they talk in the film is marvelous. They make you think, and they even make you go, yeah, thank you, uh, Scott. Yeah, and it was, and like I said, there were a few plot drags, like, they, like some of the talking scenes. I didn't mind the talking scenes. It's just, like, the long drag uh, talking scenes, that are dra a huge drag, and... And when uh, when Ozymandias is uh, revealed as the guy who did it all, I I actually agree to that point that uh, all in the major differences uh, video that they should have kept that uh, my, uh, metaphor line. It would have made it a lot recognizable for him uh, when uh, for when uh, when the whole thing goes down. Then yeah. I'd like to talk more about the ultimate cut, and that's where I can talk more spoilers and talk how long it is. Now let's get to the ultimate cut. Eventually, I came to a dismal black ocean stretch. The ultimate cut is around three and a half hours. I, huh. I originally thought it was a near four hour version, and, and yes, is indeed a shit load of minutes. I was ritually bored with uh, with uh, with uh, one huge plot drag like I mentioned earlier, and that's the version I uh, I watched. And I'm pretty uh, pretty sure that I won't be able to watch that long in a movie again, except for Lord of the Rings is fucking awesome that that series. Huh. But. But uh, black, uh, the Black Freighter story, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I thought that was, uh, I felt like that it didn't mean anything to me when I was watching it. It completely deserves its own short, but with the movie, it kind of... Huh. Yeah, I think it's got again. But sometimes, when they're about to say the obvious, but it didn't, and when they say later, I go... Then why the fuck didn't you say so? Thank you, uh, J.K. Simmons. And I will eventually review Whiplash, because I have seen it. But I really need to understand that you don't have to, uh, like, shove everything in. But anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, review of Watchmen. Not as long as I thought it would be. And my overall satisfaction of this film is an A. Strong A that will give, me, give uh, this film a solid 4 out of 5 stars. It's a worth watch film when watching the regular version, but if you want to watch the extended version, you had to mind the plot drag. That day, go too much expedition. But I can do more analysis videos. I can do the Tintin, uh, more Tintin videos, and I got a huge Tintin fanboy. Yeah, <laughs> well, I better satisfy him because I will. And I, this is a message to him. 
I will review it, but like I said in that comment, I have a couple of projects coming up. I got Mortal Kombat X review to go. I have a couple of movie reviews since I can up the length now. But anyway, guys, see you guys next time.